uh, what's it like to be a father in Israel? Father in Israel, a divorced father in Israel. A divorced mean. father in yeah. Israel. Divorced father in Israel is very difficult to be because you can't be equal to the uh, mother and you can't support your children equally with the mother and you are um, con you can't give the child whatever he wants, whatever he needs you can't uh, uh, refill your duty uh, to the child and it's very difficult people, fathers are uh, disappointed are feeling terrible about what's going on with their children and uh, some of them are taking their uh, life uh, on their hands every day and, and every day every, every day every, every day month. there's one yeah. something like uh, one father each month a year one a day Actually, one, one a week are one a day one a week we have one a week 51 the, the figures that the UN accepted, yeah, but the figures that about the UN, divorce. we are speaking about one in 72 divorced fathers. We got the statistics from the United Nations. Okay. They agree with it. It's almost one a day, actually. Okay. Are you shocked? I, I, you didn't I, agree, realize. I agree, but you know, I want to speak precisely. What I know, it's every week one father is uh, take his life on his hands. One week, every year. We're here, folks, uh, fighting for our children. Uh, my name is Rani. I'm a father myself who has two kids, Itamar and Rotem. My son has a birthday this month on the 16th of December, and I haven't seen him in three years. All of that thanks to his uh, wonderful mother who uh, decided to be uh, very, uh, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't use a foul word, but uh, a complete bitch. And uh, just looking at herself and not looking at the, the good of the children, uh, I'm, I'm a wonderful father. I never hit or raised my hand, nor on my wife, my ex-wife, nor on my kids. You had a business. I just love my kids. You had a big business. You were very wealthy. Oh, I was very wealthy. Yes. Very, very wealthy. She married me for the money. She stole the money. Uh, she cheated on me with an Arab on top of things. Today she lives with this Arab guy with my children, and I can't do a damn thing about it. Pretty soon, God willing, within the next week and a half, a week, week or two, uh, um, I had a project that I've been working on for a while. Um, I have a radio show that uh, you'll be able to tune into, and you'll be able to uh, hear it and see it on Facebook Live and be able to call on uh, the show um, and uh, voice your opinion. And like we're all doing here, uh, as you can see, these fathers over here, they're just, uh, I feel their pain. I know exactly what they're going through. Yeah. And um, do you have a no exit order? I, excuse me. Can you leave the country? No, absolutely. Are you kidding me? Are you trapped here? Uh, no, I'm not, you know what? I'm not even planning on leaving the country. I have my children over but here. Can you leave the country? I cannot leave the country. I have no bank account. I have no way of opening a bank account. Everything. Uh, no driver's license. They, uh, uh, they, they're just taking everything away from you. You become a prisoner within your own home. Unbelievable. No, it's not. This is Israel. This is the world we live in. The world we live in to trap everybody inside. Absolutely. They take control over you. And they don't let you, they don't, they don't give you a way to survive. Therefore, we have fathers who commit suicide because they can't handle the shame, they can't handle the pain, they can't handle the suffering. Uh, and not being able to see the children, your own flesh and blood. I'm sorry to tell you, that is... Uh, I don't even. I can't even find a word for it. it it's, it is, it, it's just. It's, t it's cutting out your heart. Literally. I know. And you, you're, you're alive, but you're dead. That's true. That's exactly how we are. You're alive, but you're dead. Absolutely. I say it all the time. Thank you. Thank you.